My name is Chris Vincent, and this is a dog. Her name is Scruggs. She helps me do what I do, which is build pedals. Uh, I build mostly Range Masters. Uh, if you know about me, you probably know me as DJ Lava Lamp. Um, my name is Chris, and my company is called R2R, or Reel to Reel Electric. And I repurpose old audio equipment to make trouble boosters, mostly trouble boosters. Come check it out. So, this is my apartment where I build everything on my kitchen table. Uh, I'm about to start a new batch of uh, stomp boxes. I do amp top like the original units and stomp boxes. So these are coming soon for all you guys that are waiting. Um, this is my collection of crazy stuff. We got multitudes of knobs to choose from. Most of these are vintage. They're uh, off radios, reel-to-reel -reel recorders, record players, projectors, anything like that. Uh, some of them are new, like reproductions. Mostly old. Uh, this is a collection of old badges and all sorts of little plates and random stuff that used to come on old equipment. I like to repurpose these and use those on the pedals themselves. Then we get in to some of the fun stuff if you're a big nerd like me. Vintage capacitors, vintage resistors, transistors, and I am borderline OCD in my organization of these guys. Uh, so this is my electrolytics. These are mostly input caps. You've got a lot of old paper and oil, Astron, uh, mustard. Over here we've got Sprague. Uh, Black Beauty and Bumblebees. All that fun stuff from the 50s. Really nice audio. Audio caps. Here are my transistors. So I've got them kind of broken down by type. Uh, for the, the pedals that I mostly I build are... Um, Range Master style treble boosters, so the Black Glass, uh, OC71, AC107, OC44s are off in a vault somewhere. And again, all these are, they're mostly recycled from audio equipment that I've found them in and pulled apart. Uh, some of them are new old stock. There are still a few people out there that have uh, reserves of these old transistors that are unused. They're getting more and more expensive by the day, so I really like recycling them. Uh, so this is my dog station. They like to help while I'm building. I am usually sitting here at this table for about 10 to 12 hours a day, seven days a week, cranking out pedals for everybody. Uh, so my dogs like to sleep up here when I'm working, especially this one, Scrubs. Here's where we test everything. This is my fun room. I get to do all my fun making noise and everything in here. Uh, as you can see, I like vintage amps quite a bit. These over here are some of my favorite amp top treble boosters uh, that I picked up from other builders. This is by Organic Sounds. He makes amazing stuff. Uh, Brad over at Creepy Fingers made me this guy. It's really cool. This is a guy, uh, Brenna FX. Makes these, uh, went out to his house the other day and checked out his shop. It's really cool. And this is BCV uh, over in the UK making the War Pig. He does amp top uh, range masters. Very much like me. We've become pretty good friends lately, talking back and forth on Instagram. Uh, this is the pedal that started it all. Uh, my friend Tucker, who is a uh, lamp electric, unfortunately he's no longer with us, but he built this for me out of some old vintage parts that I had laying around and 
I asked him to put me together a range master. When we plugged it in, we were just blown away by how good it sounded. So we, uh, he talked me into starting this. This was never my idea. I was all, I, I'm a guitar player. I wasn't a pedal builder. I'd never soldered more than, you know, a new set of pickups into a guitar before. Um, so this is all Tucker's fault. All, all of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is, so this is the first treble booster. So this is done by a friend of mine. His name on Instagram is Jesse did this. Uh, check him out. His art is amazing. Uh, he's done some work for old blood noise endeavors. Uh, but he, we traded, I sent him a pedal and he painted me a picture of that number one prototype range master that Tucker built for me. So that's pretty cool. That's, I love this painting so much. It's very cool. Uh, here's my inspiration board. If you like to call that, it's just, uh, some of my effects, a lot of really cool vintage stuff in there. A lot of really cool new stuff. I mean, the chase bliss is just incredible up top here. If I've got a uh, couple of black strap electric, Matt Seppi makes those and he is absolutely amazing. Uh, building old vintage. Uh, these are both, uh, treble boosters, but he does fuzz pedals really well. Um, I love his stuff. Uh, Pop Rock Shop, Joe Pop, it's his fuzz father, it's a uh, fuzz face type, and it is super duper fun. You know, the usual Z-Vax and Copper Sound back there. Uh, and then I've got you know, some fun Tape Echo, Oil Can Delay, a couple of Echo Plexes, a uh, 63 Fender Reverb Tank, one of my main obsessions is uh, Bell & Howell Filmo Sound amplifiers. This one I finally found. It's a Canadian version, which uses an EF86 uh, preamp tube and um, EL84 is a 6BQ5 uh, output. Most of the Bell & Howells, like these guys over here, are a, uh, probably can't see the tubes, but these are 6V6. Um, 12 AX7, very much like a, uh, a Fender Deluxe kind of setup, uh, similar output and all that. And so this is kind of the Canadian one is more like a Voxy kind of thing. So my Tweed Princeton, it's a 1960. This Giulietti is a Magnetone 440 rebranded. Giulietti was a uh, New York based accordion company that was selling these as accordion amps. It's another Bell & Howell Filmo sound. Uh, my wife and I covered this cabinet in tweed and I mounted the amp in there. That's a really fun one. Over here we've got my Champ size collection. So these are all one by eights, uh, except for that back one, it's a Gretsch 6156. It's a one by 10. Uh, 65, 79, 64, Supro 16T. My shipping area. These are a batch of amp tops that need to go out today. I'm headed to the post office right after this. Well, that's Ganesh. This was a wedding present from our dear friend, Karin. Uh, these are a couple of treble boosters that are going to uh, Mason Stoops. He's a amazing player and uh, we got in touch uh, somewhat recently and uh, I built him a couple of treble boosters. He doesn't know about the pencil sharpener one yet, but now you know Mason. I'm gonna send that one to you too because I know you like weird stuff. So this is where uh, my friends over at Black Bolt Amplification, uh, Geo and team over there, they, um, they like to do the recycled stuff too. They build absolutely amazing sounding and looking amplifiers. Uh, one of my amps in there is a Black Volt amp. We converted an old RCA 16mm um, projector amp into a, a little 1x10 combo. He absolutely killed it. It's one of my favorite amps. But they like to use a lot of old wire, so I come across lots and lots and lots of old power 
wire and all sorts of other stuff. Hi girls. Transformers. Uh, motors, real real motors. Um, so this is what our living room slash kitchen, my workshop looks like 85 to 90% of the time. This is the skeletons of the uh, reel to reels that I pulled apart uh, and harvested all the parts out of. Uh, a lot of times these boxes off a heap and I use it to store uh, all the transformers and wire and parts. So you'll find old uh, tape recorder boxes all over the house. And these are a bunch of old microphones. So those I save up and send to my friend Sylvia Massey. She's a record producer. She uh, works up in Southern Oregon now. It used to be up in Weed, California. Well, in true fashion, I recycle everything. So I buy a lot of stuff. And when it comes here, it comes in these big boxes and they're usually packed full of stuff. So every pedal I send back out, I just reuse the packaging. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. I know it's, it's pretty weird. It's nothing like we've ever seen before. So take care of yourself, stay healthy.